Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Miss Flannery and I'm the art teacher at Evergreen Elementary School. This is going to be my fifth year teaching at Evergreen and this year I'm going to be teaching 5k up to fifth grade. So a little backstory about me. Uh, during my time away I spent a lot of time hanging out with my daughter. This is an older picture. She's one years old now though, but she's a lot of fun. And then this is my dog Miles. We went for a lot of walks together. Um, I also got to explore a lot with watercolors. I worked on making animal paintings with them. And uh, I played with fiber arts. So I can't wait to show you what I've learned and experiment with you guys this year with that stuff. So speaking of this year, it's going to be very crazy and fun and memorable. To start off the year, everyone's going to get this special art workbook. Okay. It's kind of like a sketchbook, but there's pages and directions in here. Don't worry, we're going to go through it together throughout the first trimester. Um, and then there might be some overlap, but this is our first trimester port, uh, art workbook. And then eventually, in the next couple weeks, after you prove that you are ready for this amazing, awesome art portfolio, you're going to get this, and inside of it's going to be a bunch of fancy art paper that we're going to use for our big art projects. Um, so with this art portfolio or folder where all your work will be stored, you're going to keep it in your home classroom. And if possible, if you know you're going to be away from school for a while, you're going to bring it home with you so that we're all on the same page with materials and stuff. We're going to start off the school year with projects that will fit into the folder. I'm hoping to do clay because I'm very sad we missed, most of you missed it last year, and that's my favorite unit. So clay is, I'm still thinking about how we can do it safely. Um, so we're going to start out small so that everything can fit in our folders. And hopefully as the year goes on and things get safer, we'll be able to come back. It's, art's going to be on a cart to begin with, and then hopefully eventually we'll be back into our classrooms. So I will be providing weekly updates on my website. On my website, each grade has a page that will link to give directions for a specific week. You, together we'll be exploring art materials and artists, practicing techniques, and then making wonderful art pieces. For our big art pieces to submit it, because I don't want to store a ton of projects here, um, we're going to use Artsonia. Most of you I would say third and up know what Artsonia is. I will provide lots more specific directions in the future, but for those of you who don't know what Artsonia is, it's a digital art portfolio. We've used it in the past. It's a nice way to have pictures of all your projects that you've made throughout the years so that when you're old like me, you can look back at it. Um, so, for virtual lessons, I'm going to be posting it on this website. I will be updating it weekly, so if you miss a week, you can come on here and watch and see what you've been doing. If we go virtual, I'll put more directions on this website. During the hybrid model, where you guys are here two days of the week, I will be able to see you once a week. During our time apart, I may give you some art homework or some research or videos to watch or brainstorming, depending on where we are at the projects, or you might be taking pictures and upload using Art Sonia during that time. If you are desire you want to do more art projects, my website has a ton of different resources, um, safe links. A lot of you guys used Art Hub too to draw little pictures if there's something picture you want to draw. Um, and there's a ton of different challenges that you can work on if you want that extra art time. But for sure, check in with your grade level page every week. Um, please feel free to email or call me if you have any questions. I'll be posting 
office hours on Wednesday during the hybrid week. Come back to this website for any updates on that. Um, otherwise, I should be able, I'm pretty good, at, I like to think I'm pretty good at getting back with email questions within 24 hours. I'm super happy to be back. I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing summer, and I can't wait to see what kind of creativity you guys bring this year. Talk to you soon. Bye.